All right, so buttons are a really powerful thing with Oculus. You can do a lot of different things with them. So it's not just the button, it's also what the button would do when you click on it. Let's take a look and I'll show you right away. So here we have the same widget we've been playing with and I have two buttons of it. Let's just choose any of them. So the learn more. Once I click on the button, I have this kind of button toolbar. The first one is pretty straightforward. You just a text editing. I can make the text bold or underline or italic. I can of course type. I can change, for example, learn more to be only learn. If this is the call to action I want, I actually like learn more. So you're gonna type it right back. Clicking outside is the action that saves everything. This is true for a button and for everything else in Hope. The second option that I have here is designs for the button. So if I press on the button design, I can control just like we did with the widget background. I can control the border. I can control the background. I can control the color of the text in the button. And then here I have a very cool option, which essentially uh, the shape of the button. So as you can see, this is kind of a rectangle with pointy edges. This one is a bit more round. I can go and I change to fully round one. And um, the nice thing about this is that in order to create consistency in your website, which is something very important, especially with buttons, once you change the buttons in one place, it can update everywhere else. Of course, there are changes that you can do individually just for a widget, and there is there are some that you can just do for the whole website, just play around with them and you quickly understand which one is what. Keep in mind that the one which we've made is a global changes. It's very important for how the website will feel, how professional it would look. So we kind of save you the trouble to go over one by one and do it by yourself. So here I changed the buttons to be round and let's see what other options I have. Here I have the linking option. So this is the functionality of the button. And here I have a lot of cool options. So learn more, for example, here we have the main banner and in learn more, I can decide I want this one to, to link into a different page. So let's say that once someone press on learn more, I want them to get to my services website. That's it. So I, I chose from the general pages of the site I could also choose a certain blog post if it was relevant here. It's just not suitable for the purpose. And then I created here. I chose, I, I could see all the pages I have. I could scroll down to see more. And once I press on services, you can see it selected and that's it. Once I press outside, I can see again, confirmation for the save. And you know what, just see how it feels. Let's just go to the website. So I'm pressing here on the view website on the top right. This will load for me just like before the real live website. And that button that wasn't really connected to anything before, once I'll click learn more, oh, you see, it just navigated me to the services website. Let's go back to the editor and see what else we can do with the button. So I'm closing this tab and I'll press again on the linking. So we were on linking to page. I can also link to an external page. Let's for example, decide that we want to do, sorry, we want to do link to hocus.com. So of course you're not going to choose hocus.com, but let's say if you have a piece of content which refers to another website or refers to some booking system, if you use something for your business outside of hocus, but you still want to keep using it, then of course you can use an external link. I'll just use hocus.com for the example. All you have to do is just Type the URL here, it would be your social media and so on, even though there are dedicated areas for social media sharing. And press outside, just like before, I get confirmation. So I know the changes that I've made are saved. And then after this one is gone, view website. And once the website was loaded, now we have the same button as before, which was linking us to services will take us to the hocus.com uh, website. So essentially we can see that the external link linking is working. Again, let's close the tab. Let's go back to the editor, see what other options we have. So here we have the contacts and in the contacts, you can make sure that when someone will click on the button, it will automatically email you or call you, especially on your mobile website. You don't need to create your mobile website. The website you create in Hocus on the desktop will look automatically amazing on mobile that saves you a lot of pain in the ass that usually you would have with other systems. And then we have here the PDFs. Assuming you uploaded a PDF, you will be able to see here the files. Of course, if you haven't uploaded, you can use this button here to upload a PDF. And when someone will click on the button, he will be automatically downloading the PDF. And then we have here the pop-ups. 
and pop-ups are essentially those things that popping up on the screen if you're not familiar with it. We saw one with the subscribe option that was enabled by default where people are invited to leave their email address on the website and joining a mailing list. Again, once we're gonna get to the marketing tools that you have because Hocus is much more than just a website builder, you would be able to see um, what can you do with those mailing lists and how powerful it is and important it is for your website and why this make a huge difference between just having a social media account versus having a website where you actually own the user information and can communicate with him. So the pop-ups here can be different type of pop-ups like subscribe, like contact us. As we will create those forms, you would be able to see the pop-ups here. Again, all you have to do is select one and it would automatically work for you. 